Five and one half pounds in seven bouts. Her record five victories and two defeats. Fighting out of Austin, Texas, here is Tessa the Typhoon Simpson. And her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Also a mixed martial artist, she stands five feet four inches tall. Weighing it over the atom weight limit, 106 and one quarter pounds. Her record, six victories and four defeats. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, here is Amber, the bully. And your referee in charge of the action is Mike England. Mike England in charge of this catchway contest. It is the bully, Amber Brown, and the typhoon, Tessa Simpson. TJ DeSantis, Julie Kedzie, Scottish Rite Temple, Kansas City, Missouri. Tonight, the site of Invicta FC 26. Around the southpaw, Tessa Simpson. Launching a combination of strikes. Slightly out of range there. Oh, nice sweep there. Beautifully done there. Nice read by Simpson. Nice reactions by the black belt. But now Tessa Simpson caught in a submission attempt here by Amber Brown. Armbar fully locked on. And we can see Amber Brown is very good at using her reach, using her legs to lock that on. It looks like she's got the head in a triangle. The elbow is out, TJ. I don't think she's going to be armbarred right there, but I could be wrong. It seems as though she's getting the position. Amber Brown sticking with it. We mentioned Simpson, the black belt. This is something that she's been through plenty of times before in the gym. And you can, oh, excuse me, TJ, you can see that the uh, elbow, or excuse me, the arm. Oh, she oh. tapped! Amber, the bull oh. Brown, victorious via submission! I was just going to say, you can see that it looks like she reinserted on that kickover. Oh, my goodness, that really reinserted back into the armbar position. That is exactly the performance that Albuquerque's Amber Brown was looking for. Brilliantly done. Well read. Amber Brown getting it done in a much needed way. I mean, really style points for her. We talk about breaking out of a slump, getting back in the wind column. She did it in the biggest way possible. She did, you can see there's a little blood coming out of her nose. I have no idea when she got hit. I was too excited by what was happening. But TJ, I hope we can see the replay on that. The way when Tessa was stepping over, the way her arm went back in to help brace for the step over is what Amber Brown read. Now let's look at the takedown. Uh, Tessa Simpson throws a kick. Amber pulls it up, does nice little uh, wrestling uh, read there off the kick and immediately there's a scramble after the sweep from Tessa Simpson. Uh, now we see Amber Brown using her is locking up the arm and uh, Tessa Simpson is working to get her elbow out and she gets to a position where it's almost free but when she steps over you see her Excuse me, I'm getting too excited. She can see that her head is inserted in there. We can see she's almost completely out. When she steps over, she pushes back down on that shoulder. It pushes the arm in further. And as she's using her right leg to kick out and try to brace out, she still has to use that actual arm that's being armbarred for bracing, keeping it from actually being able to extend out. This is some brilliant reading of technique from Amber Brown right there to Tessa Simpson. I'm talking fast again, guys. Keep up. You're not as fast as the fight. Let's make it official and get the time. Here's Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time, 50 seconds. Round number one, submission by Armbar, and your winner, Amber, the Bully Brown! Turning to form is the Bully, Amber Brown victorious in a big way. It just took 50 seconds for her to get the Armbar over Tessa Simpson, and now she'll speak with James Kraus. I am with your winner, Amber Brown. Amber, you guys hit the ground and went, you went right to work with some awesome jujitsu over a very, very good grappler. How do you feel right now? 